Hey everybody, I learned a brand new Tinkercad shortcut yesterday and it's time to share it with you. So let's get cracking. Let's start by a super slick way to get to the shortcuts. You can simply type bit.ly slash HL tank cuts with an S and bam, you will be at the Autodesk Tinkercad shortcuts. This is the official Tinkercad list. Of course, there are two that you can download and print. You can find this on the resources tab. I just made the shortcut so it's a little faster. I highlight these in all my movies, but check it out. I have totally skipped this one with the letter E called Show Shape Work Plane. Let me quickly jump in Tinkercad and show you how it works. Friends, this is a super slick sketch tool car. Once again, you can bring out the sketch tool and it allows you to use lines or bezier curves to create. I've got several tutorials that highlight how to use it. Right now I'm gonna hit finish sketch. I will let you know that those tutorials will be in the cards of this video. I will highlight the feature super quick by unlocking our window cutout. If I quickly hit T for transparent, check it out. I have also used that sweet sketch tool to cut out a seating area for our car. Now I'm going to show you how the show shape work plane command can make other parts of this car super slick. Let's quickly add a cutout window. We are going to use a hole. We're going to cruise it on that windshield area. Real quickly, I'm going to take the measurements and I'm going to make them what I want. My car is 40, so I'm going to make this 36 and press enter. Then I'm going to just squeeze these down so they cut in the way I want. That looks pretty good to me because I set that measurement at 36. I know if I do L for a line, make this the master and choose middle, it's centered. Now I want to push this through so we can cut it. If we use the handle now, it goes the wrong way. I'm going to do control Z. Instead, I'm going to hit E to show the shapes work plane. Bingo, we can use this cone to adjust it where we want. And when we're happy, we can select the two of them and do control G to group. The show shape work plane allows us to get these moving exactly the way we want. Normally this simply goes along Z. I'm going to do control Z to undo that. Once again, when we bring out another shape real quick, as you can see, I played around and added a window in the back, same technique. I also want to show you a slick way to use this for your steering column. If you bring in a cylinder, I'm going to, of course, use shift squeeze to make this tiny, stretch it up a little bit, make it tinier. So that way it fit in the car. I'm going to rotate it. So this is where I all of a sudden say, oh, shoot, that's not tall enough. If you hit E, bam, you've instantly got the steering column along the correct axis so you can stretch it just the way you want course then you can bring out your Taurus and cruise it right on top so you could make your steering wheel how cool is that as I wrap up super quick shout out to former student Max and his awesome friend from Traverse City totally cool that you took a moment to say hi last night of course friends I also want to thank my supporters on patreon love how that group is going don't forget you can learn more in the description or with the bit.ly up above and finally I want to thank you friends for watching don't forget every time you hit that like button share a video, add a comment down below, or hit subscribe. You're helping HL Mod Tech get just a little bigger, which absolutely makes my day. Friends, have a glorious day, and keep tinkering.